Hello, welcome to The Update. I'm Susie Thompson. A Gold Coast community is grappling with the death of a 10-year-old girl. A homicide investigation underway after the child was found unresponsive at a unit complex in Carrara. A 46-year-old woman who's known to the girl is in police custody. A police spokeswoman has described the scene as traumatic and says first responders are receiving counselling. The company which owns the helicopter involved in a fatal crash in far north Queensland has confirmed the pilot was a current employee. The man died after the chopper crashed into the roof of a hotel selling cans. Nautilus aviation boss Aaron Finn says the man was part of the ground crew who joined the company about four months ago. Although the employee held a New Zealand commercial helicopter pilot's licence, they have never flown in Australia or for Nautilus Aviation and were not authorised to fly Nautilus Aviation helicopters. Wages growth has eased slightly for the year to June as the jobs market continues to slow. The Bureau of Statistics says pay packets grew 4.1% over the 12 months. Workers in the public sector earned more compared to those in the private sector. Opposition leader Peter Dutton claims the government is making life difficult. Instead of reducing costs for working families, he's delivered 12 mortgage rate increases, a 22% increase in electricity prices, and food and groceries have jumped by over 11%. Why does this tricky Prime Minister repeatedly promise one thing and do another? A pokies ban on Anzac Day has been ruled out in New South Wales. Premier Chris Minns says it's up to people to make their own choices after a draft amendment suggested the current ban on retail be expanded to include gaming rooms. Independent MP Alex Greenwich, who's pushing for the April 25 switch-off, responded, saying it's hard to imagine pokey machines are an essential service. Flood watches are in place in parts of northern New South Wales and southeast Queensland ahead of forecast rain. Widespread falls are expected along Australia's east coast. Communities from Coffs Harbour to Mackay are being warned to prepare. Sport and entertainment are next. In sport, Aussie Alexi Popperin has claimed the Canadian Open in Montreal with a straight sets win over fifth seed Andre Rublev. Popperin becoming just the fourth Aussie to win an ATP Masters 1000 title, joining royalty Pat Rafter, Mark Philippoussis and Leighton Hewitt. And in NRL, Kyle Flanagan has been found guilty of biting and will spend the next four weeks on the sidelines. In entertainment news, a charity auction of Britain's new currency featuring King Charles have sold for big bucks. A £10 note with a low serial number has sold for £17,000 or 33000 Aussie dollars, close to a million pounds raised in the auction. And a new artwork on the shutters at London Zoo has been confirmed as belonging to Banksy, marking the street artist's ninth work in the British capital in nine days. The new piece shows a gorilla lifting up the shutter to allow a number of birds to escape. And that is the latest from the Nova podcast team. We'll see you later on for another update. I'm Susie Thompson.